A deadly morning on Interstate 70 at Interstate 170. A man and woman were killed. News 11's Kelly Hoskins has more on the tragedy. Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox was over the fatal accident early Thursday morning. Police say two people were killed on Interstate 70 at 170 just before 430. Investigation at the crash scene indicates there was a 2008 Chevrolet Impala traveling westbound. It traveled off the right side of the roadway and struck the guardrail. After striking the guardrail, it returned to the roadway, traveled off the left side of the road into the median where it struck a guardrail in the median. It then returned to the roadway and into the path of a 2012 Chevrolet Suburban. In front of that Suburban struck the passenger side of the Impala and both occupants inside the Impala were killed. They were pronounced dead on the scene. Investigators say the victims were trapped when Missouri Highway Patrol troopers arrived at the scene. Interstate 70 was closed for hours as accident reconstruction investigated. Please identify the victims as 30-year-old Lacey Laurie and 28-year-old Lanelle McClure of St. Louis. The driver of the Suburban is expected to survive. Anytime there's, you know, a, a serious injury crash, uh, fatality crash, these are always very, you know, tragic. But whenever you have two people, um, you know, that, that makes it even harder, not only for the officers and the first responders on scene to have to deal with that, but also to make those notifications to those families and, and start that grieving process with them. The Missouri Highway Patrol is encouraging drivers to be alert as they gear up for the Memorial Holiday Weekend in a few weeks. We just really want to encourage people to slow down, pay attention to the traffic around them, eliminate those distractions, and make sure that they never, ever drive while impaired. And also to make sure that everyone is always wearing their seatbelts. Authorities say that the cause of the accident remains under investigation. In St. Louis County, Kelly Hoskins, News 11.